Today we're going to be finding out the closest point to the origin of 0, 0, 0 in 3D, with the line being represented through vector point slope notation of r is equal to 1, 2, 3 plus the parameter t multiplied by the direction and velocity vector of 4, 5, 6. We, we know the definition of a line composed by the point slope vector notation is formed through millions and infinitely many of vectors whose endpoints connected form a line, which in this case forms the orange line. And we know that all of these vectors, all of these vectors can be found with a given value of t. So for example, when t is equal to 1, this r vector will be equal to 1, 2, 3, plus 4, 5, 6. And we know through vector addition that we just add the terms together for the x terms, y terms, and z terms to get r is equal to 5, 7, 9. So this shows that 5, 7, 9 is one of the vectors that composes this line. And this can be applied for for no matter what value of t, whatever you like. t could be 0, t could be 0 0.5, could be the craziest number you could ever imagine, 9, 9, 9. Infinitely many, ni infinitely many 9s, and it will form a vector that this vector matches and satisfies this equation right here. So based on this definition, we can know that the vector that resembles the closest point to our origin, 0, 0, 0, must satisfy this function. Therefore, let us call this vector c vector. c vector must be equal to for some value of t. So its x component will be 1 plus 4t, comma 2 plus 5t, comma 3 plus 6t. So this vector will be our closest vector, c vector. With some value of t, you'll find the c vector. And from here, we know the dot product rule of two vectors, which is that if the two vectors, vector a dot vector b, is equal to zero, that means that a vector is perpendicular to b vector. That's when cosine of theta is equal to pi over two degrees, or pi over two radians rather, this will be canceled out to zero. And zero multiplied by the magnitude of a multiplied by the magnitude of b will give us zero. Hence, we can apply this into this problem. So we have one of the vectors down, which is 1 plus 4t, 2 plus 5t, and 3 plus 6t. Treat this as a definite vector, as this vector definitely exists, the closest vector, which passes through the closest point from the origin. Dot product with another vector. But what is this vector? Well, this vector has to be a vector that's parallel to our orange line, as only then can the two dot products be zero as the shortest distance from the origin to the yellow line or orange line rather is its perpendicular line therefore dot product with its direction vector of four five six will give us zero this vector will be parallel to the orange vector therefore the dot products will be zero and then we can solve for t and find out this coordinate point and its vector likewise so we multiply the components by each component, the x component with the x component, the y component with the y component, and the z component with the z component, to get 4 plus 16t plus 10 plus 25t plus 18 plus 36t is equal to 0. And we can be sure that the dot products or the dot product of these two vectors will result in a scalar value as we know that the dot products of two vectors will result in a scalar value as to the cross product of two vectors will result in another vector. So now we combine the like terms of 16t, 25t, and 36t together, which 16 plus 36 is equal to 52 plus 25 will be equal to 77t. Add it to 4 plus 10 is 14, 14 plus 18 is 32 is equal to 0. Subtract 32 on both sides to get 77t is equal to negative 32. Divide t with 77 on both sides to get t is equal to negative 32 over 77, which this form, which this ratio cannot be simplified further. And since we have the value of t, we can apply this into our vector right here to get our resulting vector, which is the shortest distance from our origin. So we plug in to get 1 plus, or minus, since plus minus becomes minus, 32 times 4 divided by 11. This will be the x component. 2 minus 32 times 5 
divided by 11 to be our y component, and 3 minus 6 times 32 divided by 77. This should all be 77 to get our z component of this vector, and hence find out the point. So this will be equal to the denominator of 77, likewise for all of the x and y components, uh, y and z components rather. 32 times 4 is equal to 12, 8, which 77 minus 12, 8 is equal to negative 51. This denominator becomes 77, 2 times 77 becomes 154. 154 minus 32 times 5, which is 160, is equal to negative 6. And the last thing for our z component, 77 times 3 will be equal to 231, which subtracted by 32 times 6, which is 192, to get a final result of 49 which 49 over 77 can be simplified further, or rather, not 49, 39 over 77. And here we have the coordinate of the shortest, or the point closest to the origin, which is negative 51 over 77, negative 6 over 77, and 39 over 77.